so these are new clothing purchases the next version of this video is going to be with thrifted clothing because i just thrifted this awesome denim skirt um this shirt which is let me just show you look at it <laughs> I'm obsessed and a leather jacket and I also got some jeans on Poshmark so I have been shopping <laughs> it's, it's just that I've finally realized what I want my personal style to be and now I can finally like invest in pieces I've been shopping that's just the only way I can say that we're gonna be styling some new pieces today so let's do a haul first off is this mesh tank top from a brand called Daisy Street I saw this I've been thinking about it for like a week and a half before I decided to buy it I love it <laughs> It is a see-through mesh. You can see what you're wearing underneath. And then I also got some cargo pants. So, <laughs> pile. <laughs> These are from a brand called Black Taylor, which is the sponsor of today's video. They specialize in making cargo pants. They also have cargo shorts and like outerwear. And so, yeah, let me just show you what I got. First off, let's talk about the purple ones. Wow. These are the one pair of pants I got in a size 30 because they were out of stock in 32, which is what I got for all the other pants. Just because I wanted a little baggier fit, but they still fit me. If I wear them low rise, they kind of still have that bagginess in the legs. Honestly, when they come back in 32s, I might get those and then give these to a friend. They're just cute, adorable. And these ones have this very comfortable like nesh, nesh. I combine netting and mesh in my brain. So it's like, so it feels so soft. So next up we have the X5 cargos in gray. These have this like kind of backpack style nylon belt at the waist of them with nylon detailing. And then this awesome like strappy pocket that you can actually remove, but I'm kind of obsessed with that. So many straps, I love it. These are the straight leg fit. I'll have all of these linked below, of course. Next up I got these, which are the X6 straight fit cargos in the color off white these are just more of a simple they've got like a drawstring up here a zipper at the bottom a couple different pockets but it's not overboard on the pockets and then lastly from black taylor i got these from my brother these are cool these are definitely the lightest weight pants out of all of these good for the summer and this is just kind of a classic green cargo pants they also all have the logo on the back pocket. yeah very good job on the branding guys looks great. I'll have all of my picks from Black Taylor linked below if you want to check them out. I think that at least one pair of cargos is pretty essential for an androgynous wardrobe. So if you want to go check out all of their options, they have so many, you are bound to find something that you like. They've built their business around specializing in cargo pants, so they do them well. Thank you Black Taylor for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And let's get into some outfit making. So the pieces that I'm actually going to style in this video are the mesh shirt. And then of the cargo pants, I think I'm gonna style the gray ones and the purple ones. So we're keeping it to three different outfits today. If I can restrain myself. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do it. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, I'm filming this in such a weird <laughs> state of mind. I'm really tired right now. Let's do this mesh shirt. <laughs> Under it, I'm gonna wear the bralette I have from Parade, which is bright red because the intensity of these two colors kind of go together. That really unlocked something for me once I figured out that if you pair pieces that have a similar intensity of their colors, even if they're kind of like colors that maybe want to go together, like I think these look nice together, but think about intensity when you're putting colors together and I promise you that will level up your color matching game. I think I'm gonna do these groovy leather shorts which i styled in my last styling clothing pieces video just because i've been looking for ways to wear these shorts and i think cut of the shirt would look really good with these and then for shoes i think i'm gonna wear let me show you i think we're gonna wear these doc martens these are just their gladiator platform sandals however let me just say after wearing these for several hours and on a hot day the strap situation ouchie so i'm gonna pair it with these shoes and then also what i've been liking recently is i just got where are they leg warmers <laughs> so i really like wearing leg warmers because i feel like they help give my outfits a sense of balance just because there's not a lot of like 
width to the shoes I wear. Oftentimes I feel like I'm a little top heavy in terms of like clothing balance. So this helps even that out. And I really like how they look. Might be a weird choice for summer, but with the sandals, it's actually not too hot. I wore these on an 80 degree day and it was fine. Anything hotter than that, it would probably be too hot. So one thing I found in my closet recently is this like utility belt. It's from Dickies and it's just a, <laughs> it's a utility belt. Um, my mom got it for me for work and actually wearing it with like that trendy like fanny pack style like that i'm gonna try to make that a thing because i think it's cool even if it's a little impractical because the pockets are just like wide open but i'm gonna stick with silver jewelry for all these looks because honestly i just don't want to have to change <laughs> my jewelry probably these earrings these are from studio cult and then frenzy chain spikes from Vitaly with these two Vitaly rings. Maybe this basic stainless steel chain. And then also this little pendant necklace from Kindness. And then we're also gonna wear my Casio watch, which just matches the stainless steel of everything. Let's try on outfit number one. Okay, so this is outfit number one. It's really hot in my room right now. I'm sweating so much. I really like how the leg warmers look with these sandals. And since my toes are out, it's not too hot. Of course you could go with a classic black fanny pack. Let me just show you what that would look like. You could do regular fanny pack action. I just feel like that's something that more people have. I do feel like maybe there's something missing, but I don't know what it is. This is really not very practical. It's not comfortable to wear, really. But that's not the point. So we'll see if I'll actually use this. I just feel like it's something that nobody else is wearing. It's nice to have one of those things. For the sunglasses, I opted for the gray ones. I think the gray ones look slightly better here are the red ones cool girl chic this is for me successful outfit planning like i feel like i'll go out in this exact outfit so right now i've got the nice sheen on my face but jewelry with this i think looks really cool i have this ear cuff which always elevates my earring looks yeah should i put my hair up i maybe should so next up for the cargo pants let's do the gray ones i really like how neutral the gray color is and i think that i can add like a statement shirt to kind of go with it like obviously i feel like this would just look good with like a basic like black tank and some like combat boots or whatever like i feel like that would be a fit but i'm gonna try to be colorful today i also just got this satin scarf from parade i actually really like this because it's like big enough to use as a top which is still something like i'm gonna make an outfit with it as a top i'm not sure if i'm comfortable yet wearing that out in the world but that doesn't mean i can't play around and do a little dress up moment so either a bandeau top or like potentially if that feels a little bit too uncomfortable i might wear this halter top under it i feel like i'm still secure but i don't know because this ties in the back too so the tie in the back with the scarf might be a little too much i do not know i don't know i might do my denim jacket with it too i know that sounds kind of crazy but i feel like these could potentially go together this is kind of a work in progress outfit basically what i know is that these two things are probably going together and i don't know if i'll do a bag or anything with this i might do my black fanny pack honestly cargo pants have so many pockets that i don't know if i would need a bag so but that's not the point of fashion i guess kind of praying with this outfit <laughs> um quick bonus outfit because i was halfway through changing when i realized this is kind of a fit it's not the best but it's still cute i'm sweating balls right now like oh my god i love this outfit though look at it so i decided to pair this with my white nikes these are thrifted and i decided to just go with the bandeau top just by itself once again i'm gonna have to figure out a way to wear this out that feels still like secure and comfortable because this does not feel very secure right now but i think this is so cute this is such a look i love this with the cargo pants with the jewelry and then for sunglasses the gray and the red ones look good here are the gray ones but i actually like the red ones a little bit more i would definitely be constantly tugging this up and just to show you with the denim jacket i actually feel like it's a look even though it's so hot out of my jackets i feel like this is the right one to pair with this outfit i don't feel like any of my other jackets are the right cut and i feel like it looks good i would wear this i would feel fashionable in this if i got over the fact that this is a bandeau top and my titty could slip out at any moment let's do the next one so purple let's do it with these i want to be a little simple with what i'm pairing with them because they're so intense so i'm just going to pair these with 
maybe my white tank top because it's such a basic this is just like a waffle ribbed tank from asos i like the length that it's in i washed this with colors and so there's some stain situations happening but we're not going to talk about it it's not good probably my binder underneath because i just did my binder versus compression top video and i tried my binder on with the shirt and it looked great so i'm gonna do that i think i'll also do these shoes with white socks these have blue on them but white socks i'm sure i have some white socks somewhere so the white matches the tank top so there's a little bit of balance with the white if you like seeing my thought process please comment because i'm not sure if you guys just want to see the outfits like with my outfit ideas videos or seeing me work out the process is fun for you guys because like that's why i started doing this type of videos because i talk about the outfit as i am making it rather than just showing you the end result so let me know what you think about that i accidentally take a screenshot on my phone like five times a day it is so annoying so i <laughs> wanted to wear the purple pants a little bit more low rise so i'm wearing a pair of boxers under them just to have that extra height of the waistband these ones are actually a little big on me so they're bunching up in some places ignore that and then i have the white socks with these gladiator sandals which i think looks cute i don't know if you can see my shoes in here i hope you can i tried to make that the case but i don't know gray sunglasses this also looks good with the red ones because red and purple go together and the intensities of the colors match up and i'm wearing my binder under this shirt which i like how that looks so that's what's happening there and then for a bag i would do a fanny pack because that is kind of what goes with this aesthetic you could do a lot of different things but so here's a black fanny pack the nylon kind of goes here and it's just it's just kind of a nice collection of materials like it works kind of like the buckle here that's option number one and then option number two is this fanny pack so this is from baboon to the moon and it is bright green and i love it it sits a little bit lower on me with how it's adjusted right now so i think it would just depend on my mood if i wanted to feel a little more fun i'd probably go with this combo and if i wanted to feel a little bit more like yes everything matches each other then i would go with this one just because it feels a little bit more cohesive with just the black fanny pack i feel like this isn't like too tech bro and i'm gonna show you a bonus outfit in a second that is a tech bro cargo pants fit i want you to all know that in between these clips i'm listening to the new soccer mommy album and it's so good and i love it this is a slightly more like tech bro basic fit with the cargo pants i tried this with the nylon fanny pack and it was too basic but i feel like it looks good with the dickies work belt so i'm gonna keep it with this just a plain white t-shirt some white sneakers and it's a look like you know the people who wear this <laughs> but i feel like it is styled nicely like sometimes people kind of just stop with the shoes pants shirt nothing else and like that's fine you do you but i like adding the finishing details and i think that the necklaces are really important for this outfit i feel like this just makes the fit like you know when you see a hot dude in this kind of outfit with the necklace that's it make sure you check out black taylor with the links in my description if you want to shop their store i'm moving to new york city tomorrow so i'm going to stop filming so that i can start packing i have not started i'll see you in the city Tonight.